All right, I'm here with uh, Joel Brubaker, freshman. How was the transition from middle school to high school this year with all the COVID and restrictions that are happening? Pretty good, considering it was COVID and stuff. And, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, was there any, like, problems that happened in any classes or anything at the start of the year with all the COVID stuff and all that? Group projects and then fellow classmates trying to communicate and they really couldn't do it? Um, some of my friends got quarantined and we tried to communicate, tried to communicate on some of the stuff and it didn't really work out. And then in math, we had a project that didn't go too well, considering we couldn't get near other people to get help. All that will change hopefully next year, but was it like, was it fun this year still as a freshman, considering you were the new people in our high school and then... The transition was good then to middle school and high school? Yeah, it was pretty good. I honestly couldn't really tell the difference in the workload and stuff. So. Yeah, that's always good. And this is Joel Brubaker, freshman. And seems like his year went pretty good, even though he had COVID and all that. So hopefully it'll get better next year as he turns to sophomore. I'm here with Emily Falker. And oh. What were your experiences like this year when you had to go home and all that, do all the classwork at home and all that? Well, one thing about um, being at home is with the um, online homework is that I don't, I feel like I can work on stuff faster, but it takes me longer to figure things out. So I didn't learn as well, but there was less work to do. Oh, that's always interesting doing that. And then talking to teachers is much harder online too with the email and all that. And then projects. Did you have any like hard projects you had to do online? I remember having to do a big biology project where we were doing cell models at one point, but I don't remember having huge projects online, so that was a good thing. Yeah, and then obviously not working with your classmates, that makes it much harder too. And then not being able to see your friends and stuff like that. So how was it when you uh, just got back into school after that? How was it like getting to see your friends again, doing stuff back in person and all that? Th that's always my favorite is being able to see my friends again. And obviously with this year, you can't be close. Like you feel like you want to hug everybody, but you can't really do that. But it is always nice to be able to talk with my friends again, especially when we have lunch, just to be able to sit and talk and not have to think about anything serious. <laughs> yes, it was getting bad in our school. What was your experience like with COVID and everything happening in our school? Lots of people getting all that. Yeah. Back in February, I actually did end up getting sick with COVID, which wasn't super fun, but I got a mild case of it, even though some members of my family got it a little bit worse. So definitely thankful for that. It was really hard to have to tell my friends that they were going to have to quarantine because of me, and that was probably the worst part of it. But getting back into school, especially because from when I got them quarantined, we all got to be back together at the same time. It felt so nice to be able to see everybody, but I will say that being at home while everybody else was at school was nice to be able to talk to my friends when they were also at home. Well, that's great that you can see your friends now again. All right, I'm here with Dylan Primo, and we're going to talk about quarter three and coming back. So what was it like coming back after being quarantined in COVID and then being able to see your friends again and all that? Well, it was a lot of fun to, you know, get back into the swing of things. A lot of my buddies, you know, I love the boys. So getting back to school, it feels great. All right. All right. When we got back, how was like basketball and the sports that you did with all your friends? How was that? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, the fans, they started coming to games and it's a lot. When you, when you know, you get a community of people gathering around the sport. It's really great. You know, it, the momentum, you know, definitely helps out. Yes, that's what every sport and having fans there definitely helps. So anything else about quarter three that you loved and getting back into things, classes, how were they, projects? Yo, well, online is a little bit dog. Like, definitely you can, you know, feel yourself kind of working through school a lot better when you're in person, you know, collaborating on all that t stuff in person. So it's hard to get that type of education when you're online. Yeah, that's what we're all thinking here. And then quarter three, obviously getting back into things and now the COVID vaccine's getting out and everybody's getting more safe here. So hopefully next year we can have a better time here. More fans everywhere, no masks. How do you feel about the masks right now? And 
<laughs> what do you want to do about that? Yeah, well, I mean, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to show up September next year, and uh, these things won't be here. You know, if you still wear it, that's cool too. But hopefully, you know, we can be, we can come back to school in a safe, positive, and learning environment. All right, thank you, Dylan. I'm here with Miss Angela, and we're gonna talk about quarter four and wrapping up the school year. So, what was it like seeing everybody leaving and the seniors leaving, and everybody getting ready to leave for summer? It's always hard when you see the seniors go, especially when I have had some of them as freshmen and sophomores. And um, I have a senior this year myself, so um, this has been a tough year, but you know, they're ready and uh, they went through a pretty rough year, you know, with everything that's been going on um, with wearing masks and all the different rules and quarantining and, and I commend them for that. Yeah, that's obviously a really good point. We need those masks off pretty soon here. Hopefully next year, so everybody can get back to normal, especially the seniors. Tough year for them. And then how did you like see the students throughout the year? How are they interacting with each other through the quarantine and then now, now at the end of the year? How was it? Well, you know, um, trying to be socially distanced um, definitely was a challenge and wearing masks uh, was a big hindrance to, I'm sure, all of the classes, uh, especially because a lot of us love to have class discussion and students working together. So that was something that was um, a big challenge. But you know what? Our students stepped up. Um, I think they really did an awesome job of just, you know, being aware of what the rules were and following them and just, you know, being really diligent about those kinds of things. And it was tough when kids were quarantining and trying to work from home and really, you know, it's tough to be online and at home. So I commend the students again, they did a phenomenal job. As you could hear from a teacher, us students had a hard time, but most of us battled through it and it worked out. And now the last question here, um, how was it this whole year round? And then finally at the end here, do you have any plans for going into summer and end of year right here? Well, you know, I think I speak for all of us. We are ready <laughs> to have summer break and um, hopefully seeing this pandemic come to an end and kind of getting back to what is, is normal. Um, just looking forward to spending some time at home with my family and, um, and um, you know, just again, congratulations to the seniors and uh, we'll look forward to like, yeah, next year with no, hopefully no masks, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Angela. <laughs> So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna basically just ask about the end of the school year. So our whole thing theme for this newscast was we were like starting with the freshmen and working our way up through the seniors, up going for basically each quarter of the year. The freshmen were first quarter, second quarter, um, second quarter lockdown, third quarter coming back with all the restrictions on sports, and then end of the year, and then you are gonna be. Uh, wrap up <laughs> and say whatever fun stuff you say because you're kind of inspiring i guess I <laughs> you try we'll, we'll find out tomorrow night talk i am the commencement speaker whatever that fancy word means well, they generally invite someone to come and make an address to the seniors yeah or to the graduates um often it has tended to be a houghton grad who has gone off and done some pretty interesting things mm -hmm. or pretty incredible things and this year it's you and this year they came and asked uh, if I would be willing to do it he said yeah and I thought about it for a while and contemplated it and talked with my family about it and decided that yes I would do it and this year they came and asked uh, if I would be willing to do it he said yeah and I thought about it for a while and contemplated it and talked with my family about it and decided that yes, I would do it. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So in a couple of ways, this will be a very different ending of the school year. Yeah. First time, well, as long as the weather holds. <laughs> yeah. First time we'll be having graduation outside. Really? That's kind of uh, cool. We're gonna have it at the, in the football field track area. And we've not, not done that before always done it in one of the gymnasiums mm -hmm. or the other you know one in one of the gymnasiums but uh 
when we built that out there, the idea was that eventually, someday, we would get to host graduation out there. Cool. Now, last year, of course, there was no real graduation ceremony like the past. Yeah. Uh, we had a flatbed truck set up in the parking lot <laughs> between the Gates Tennis Center and Tech Football. And we had the drive-through, sort of, uh, because that was when... Yeah. Congrats, you passed. Here's your diploma. Because well, that, that was when COVID was just getting, getting started. Mm -hmm. We really didn't know what was going on. The nice thing about that is that um, one of the tradition, one of the things that they started last year that they're going to carry on this year is they are going to have a post ceremony parade. Hmm. Um, last year they had a parade that started up in that lot and came down to Guinness and through the tech campus and then downtown and around. And my understanding from what I've read is that that's going to continue this year also. That's cool. And so that's a new tradition that uh, we're getting started and hopefully it'll work well. Yeah. New traditions are fun to mix with old traditions. Sometimes. Right, right, right. And then so this is definitely, you know, this last uh, 15 months has been a real transitional time <laughs> from March 12th last year when they said, yeah, go home, go home. And uh, we can't take you. And then finally, you know, we were able to restart in September, but it wasn't totally normal through that time. And we had a short suspension and a long lock, lockdown and so yeah. Uh, so yeah it's kind of nice that's one of the things I like about um, what they did last year was that we'll carry that tradition through yeah yeah um, last I checked I've never lived through a global pandemic nope no um, nothing like this uh, we had a few flu type situations swine flu bird flu things like that but nothing nothing of this magnitude but yeah we're you know this is going to be you know another interesting end of a school year uh, particularly for me being that um this will be the end of my teaching career at home I, i've heard you joke every for the last like 10 years or so you've been joking about leaving well i was i was eligible to retire a long time ago yeah. And at various times I set various dates. And each time I set one of those dates, I felt guided that it wasn't the right time. I don't know where that guidance comes from, but I just felt, okay, this isn't, this isn't the right time. You need to go back and continue teaching and coaching. And this time when I set it, um, last fall I started talking about it. Uh, the guidance that I've been getting is, yes, there's something else out there you're supposed to do. I don't know what it is. I'll find it. It'll find me. But the guidance this time has been, it's right. It's the right time for me to go. Yeah. And so I've just made that decision and um, we'll move on to whatever comes next. Yeah, I know I feel honored to be part of your <laughs> last class. At, My at, last... Least, at least at Houghton. Who yeah. knows whether you're going to move on to teach it, not maybe another school, but teach somewhere else. I'm not sure that I would go yeah. back into no, teaching. Like back directly into being yeah. a teacher. Yeah. I, if I was going to teach, I would probably just stay here and keep going. Yeah. But uh, I don't know what's out there for me. I, 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 I trust that I'll find it or it'll find me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This end of this year is going to be unique in that exams will be starting on a Monday. Oh, yeah. Uh, generally, generally the schedule is turned. Calendars turned out that exams usually started on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, and so you'd have that one day of class coming off of the weekend, uh -huh. where you could do last minute reviewing or things like that. But uh, you know, when we walk in on Monday morning, the seventh, yeah, you'd be walking into an exam somewhere, uh -huh. and and that that that's a little bit different and tends to be a little more challenging for some students they don't prepare properly over yeah. the weekend. So yeah, it's coming up fast. Tomorrow, which will be Friday. Four days next week, then exams begin. So, But it's been nice chatting with you. Yeah, it has. Thank and, you. And uh, I thank you guys for everything that you do um, in the class and mm -hmm. taking care of things and um, putting together all the different uh, outreaches that we need to be able to uh, be able to communicate with everybody around us. Yeah. So I appreciate what you guys do.
And that has been our newscast for 2020 and see you next year.